Hey guys, JB here back again with more Battlefront 2. On Reddit, user Uninspired Zebra uncovered a hidden character customization menu in the game's multiplayer. While I can't play the exact video here, I will show a series of screenshots from said video. In the collection menu, Zebra chooses the Assault class. After choosing a faction, next comes the loadout menu where you can edit your star cards, weapon, emote, and victory pose. However, there's a new option here that doesn't appear in the game currently called Change Appearance. Zebra is able to go through a menu of skin options which alter the armor for the Galactic Republic faction. These are subtle changes and seem to have placeholder numbers for the names, but these are 100% different skins. Then he moves on to the Rebel Alliance faction where there are seven different cosmetic customization skin options. These do have names, some referring to different alien races that you can play as or different characters in the Star Star Wars universe. Beyond the video, Zebra shared several more screenshots for various alien skins and different characters. These include Corin for the Heavy class, Rodian and Helen for the Officer class, and then a Twi'lek for the Specialist. So what's the big deal here? Why does this all matter? Well, first and foremost, this is irrefutable proof that a system for cosmetic loot boxes would absolutely work in Battlefront 2 using skins. At least from what we see here, there could be six to eight different skin variants for each class in the game, along with variations between the factions. There's potential for tons and tons of characters and races across many corners of the extended Star Wars universe all while staying friendly to the lore. In a hypothetical scenario where loot boxes return and aren't tied to progression, solely cosmetics, this is exactly the kind of system we could see. The second reason this is so important is that clearly it's being worked on. This is in the game. This is not Photoshop or anything like that. In the Battlefront 2 DICE AMA, design director Danis Branval had this to say about customization. Customization is something we care about. Believe me, people are constantly sending ideas around the office from all corners of the Star Wars galaxy. Clone Wars, Rebels, comics, movies, novels. There are some really, really cool designs out there, especially from the Clone Wars era. It's on our list of things we're looking at daily and always top of mind. And stay tuned. My guess is that if DICE had free reign to implement these kinds of systems, it would have been there on day one. Who knows when or how customization will be included in Battlefront 2, but if EA is actually taking this media firestorm seriously, they need to take a hard look at the potential here because it's absolutely here with these skins. The third reason this is so important is what EA had to say about cosmetics just a few days ago. Everyone's favorite CFO, Blake Jorgensen, claimed that cosmetic items would violate the canon, joking that Darth Vader in all pink or all white wouldn't make sense. I think it was these comments that directed most people towards the idea of only hero skins being delivered through cosmetic loot boxes and the potential of that. However, from what Zebra has shown us here, the potential is much larger than that. Skins don't have to be limited to heroes and villains. We can have less important names and figures in the Star Wars universe as skins for numerous classes. And at the same time, as people oppose on the Battlefront 2 subreddit and I've shared in videos, there's potential for a lot of hero and villain skins at the same time. Once again, this shows EA's predilection for steering the narrative towards their agenda. They've asserted time and time again that cosmetic loot boxes could not work, and right now they've been proven dead wrong. But they're not dumb, and neither are we. They know well and true what's going on at DICE right now with these systems that have clearly been built out in the game. So this tells me that even with the great potential of these skins in a cosmetic loot box system, EA has opted to stick with their progression-based loot boxes for the time being. If this were a court case to prove EA's true intentions with microtransactions, everything they've said, what's been revealed in this video from Zebra, we'd have all the evidence we need by now to, I don't know, deliver a verdict and indictment, a whatever on EA. With all of the gloom and doom surrounding Battlefront 2 since this controversy started, this right here actually gets me a little excited. Just what Zebra has shown with the different skins and customization. I'm sure many of you don't like to hear that, but seriously, just take a minute, practice some optimism, humor me. Imagine that DICE reworks the progression system, detaching it entirely from loot boxes. The only way to unlock upgrades is by playing the game. There's zero pay to win mechanic, zero way to shortcut your way to the best stuff. While well, at the same time, we have a reworked loot box system where everything you get funnels into hundreds of cosmetic skins and items from across the Star Wars universe, all lore friendly, things that have inherent value, things you actually want to get. This would be a major turnaround for the game. But of course, this is not the case. It's fun to pretend, but we need to get back to reality here. EA have said they have no plans to change their strategy with microtransactions. Actually, they want to implement a similar model that they've had in their sports games like FIFA, 
which are notoriously pay to win, especially FIFA 18. There are currently, as it stands, zero signs that EA wants to change their ways, and we can only play the waiting game for now. It's depressing, but that's where we are right now. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. In the comment section below, tell me if you would actually play Battlefront 2 if they implemented a cosmetic loot box only system like I described in this video. Is that enough for you to get the game and play it? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more commentaries like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.